basket and this one. And what I want to show you guys is, is now what I'd like you to do is write this in an if then condition, write this as a conditional statement, and then state the hypothesis and the conclusion. So remember, if I was going to take this statement, which just says an mammal is a mammal, not an animal. Yeah. That was, I see what you're saying, because I had it rewritten. A mammal is a warm blooded animal. All right? So what we need to do to write this as conditional, I know conditional needs to have if and a then, right? Mm -hmm. Yes? Okay. Now, ladies and gentlemen, when you're converting a statement into a conditional statement, it is okay to maneuver a little bit of the words or add or subtract a little bit of the words to make it kind of make sense, but we don't really want to be changing too much of our statement. So if we have a mammal, it, or a mammal is a warm-blooded animal, then if I was going to think of this conditionally, I would say if um, it is a mammal, right? If it is a mammal. Now, if it is, is kind of new. I added that in there, but I added it to kind of make sense. If it is a mammal, then it is a warm blooded animal. That kind of makes sense, now conditionally? All right, so I didn't make something up. I didn't say a mammal is a warm blooded animal, or a mammal is a warm blooded animal that has hair on it. I didn't add something random into it. I just made this now into conditionally, a mammal is a warm-blooded animal, so therefore if we know we have a mammal, then we know it's going to be a warm-blooded animal. Or at least I'm making statements that now we can be true, or now we can use as either being true or false. All right? So therefore, here's going to be my hypothesis, because it follows my if statement, and here's going to be my conclusion, because it follows my then statement. All right? Hypothesis. Ah, just wait. <laughs> cool.